First, I want to thank all of my subscribers, everybody who uh, subscribed to my channel, um, all 14 of y'all. Y'all some more. So this outfit is going to be with my outfit of the day, but I'm going to just keep it a buck. This is my third time wearing this outfit, and it ain't going to be a fourth. I'm going to let y'all know that right now. Because this video was supposed to come out. I was supposed to do this video like way early in the week, Monday. Like I even uh, put the same outfit on yesterday to film, but the lighting wasn't good, um, blah, blah, blah. There was just like, every time I tried to, I tried to finish this video on my set date, but it's just something always came up. And so I started a company earlier this year. Uh, I discussed it in a promo video, uh, walkertechdesigns.com, guys go check that out. And I started this YouTube video to give that company a little bit more exposure. Like in college, there was a lot of things that I didn't participate in or just growing up. Um, I just didn't participate in certain things because I'm scared, I'm shy, I'm awkward. And you know, now I'm 24, time is passing me by. I ain't got much time left. So it's just like, I'm not gonna live in fear no more. I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do, however I wanna do it. And that's what I'm on this year. This channel is just me. Uh, challenging myself and putting myself out there. All right, so let's get into uh, what I'm gonna be showing today. Like I said, I'm gonna be showing this outfit that I've worn for the third time. <laughs> okay, so my tutorial for today is how to edit videos for IGTV. Uh, for all of my creators, um, I know it's very important that we try to get our content on every platform as possible uh, to just to reach every audience that you can. So. IGTV is a new platform and I just wanted to show you all how to get your videos to fit for that Okay, before we get started. I just wanted everyone to know what program I'm using um, I am using Adobe Premiere Pro video editing software um, I have that program as well as Adobe Photoshop Illustrator After Effects and a bunch of other programs I have with my Adobe subscription Which is about $20 a month if anyone was interested Okay, let's get started now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to file and you're going to go to new you're going to click sequence now from this sequence you're pretty much going to pick whatever camera you used um if you just use a phone or anything uh the best bet to go is with just digital slr uh, you're going to click the settings you want um, i use 1080p and i usually use 1080p uh 30 frames per second uh, just to be on the safe side if I don't know how fast my camera is and then from there you're going to click settings and you're going to go to frame size now right now you see frame size is 1920 by 1080 and you see vertical 16 by 9 from there you're going to change it and flip it to just 1080 by 1920 and you're going to see that's going to change to 9 to 16 so it's pretty much going to flip um, after that, you can save your preset so you won't have to type that in again if you want to post more IGTV videos. And you could just go straight to it. Uh, save, save it something as like, you know, IG tutorial or something like that. Uh, you name your sequence and you pick save. Well, actually, you click OK. OK, so pretty much once you click OK, you're going to see a small black file a vertical box and that's pretty much what's going to be the video for you to post on IGTV and now that we have those syncing settings we can import our file so we're going to go to file import and you can import whatever you like it can be a picture it can be a video uh, what I'm going to use is this small clip that I got from Adobe uh, Adobe stock okay so now that we got that file imported you're going to see it on the bottom left hand corner 
I'm just going to double click it and let you all see what the original format of the video is. Um, obviously, it's a little wider and that won't be able to fit into IG's format. It's just going to be way uh, zoomed in if you import it exactly like this. Uh, so we wanted to match the 9 by 16 sequence format that we just made. Uh, so what I'm going to do is drag this clip into my timeline so I can get started. Uh, once you do post that, you're going to see a pop up that says the sequence settings don't match. Um, if you want to keep the existing settings and you want to keep it so that the video that we're posting fits into the format of the 916. Once you keep those sequence settings, you're now going to see your video file formatted for the video sequence that you created. Um, you are going to see a black bar at the top and the bottom of your video. Uh, this is just so your video, your whole video can fit instead of that uh, zoom in effect. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you don't have a problem with the black bar, you can just simply export the video and upload it. Now, for those of you who don't really like the aesthetic of the black bar, there is a way that you can manipulate it to make it a little more pleasing to the eye. Uh, what I'm going to show you is the blur effect that you can add uh, to make your video look a little nicer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is copy your clip and paste it on top of it. Uh, once you do that, you're going to make sure your original clip is copied, which is the one on the bottom, and you're going to click on effects. And then in your effects panel, you're going to type in blur. And there are going to be a couple of blurs that come up. Uh, the one I want you to click is Gaussian blur. Once you click it, you're going to want to drag it onto the bottom clip that you have selected. While still having that original clip selected, you're going to click on effects and then go to effects controls. Uh, now you're going to click on scale and what this is is going to make the original video bigger you're going to scale it to however much you want uh, just pretty much to fill in the black boxes now once those black boxes are filled um it still doesn't look that nice so what we're going to do is scroll down to the effect that you added the gaussian blur and you're going to make that blur as big as you want to make it look nice so i'm just going to scale mine up and now that looks a little better. Okay, so now we can export our file. So what we're going to do is go to File, Export. And when you are exporting your file, make sure it is in the format of H.264. Now I'm going to export that onto my desktop. And I'm pretty much just going to send the video to my phone. And now you guys can see the final product. All right, so thank you for checking out my video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. I got more to come. I will be dropping videos every other Wednesday. If I don't drop it every other Wednesday, something happened. Some, somebody died or I died. But <laughs> anyways, videos every other Wednesday, Walker Tech TV. Thank you all for watching.